And I'm so excited that we're showing a champagne in a decanter. So <laughs> when I was studying, even, even when I had studied wine for many years, I still hadn't seen until I was sort of already in my wine sure. career, someone decanting champagne, because I think we think so much about red wine in a decanter, That's but right. there are so many other reasons. So I have, um, this is a vintage champagne that the 2015 yep. Um, and the reason for decanting this is champagne, many champagnes are made in a very protective style, meaning the winemaker is trying to, as much as possible, keep oxygen away from the wine. That's mm -hmm. to retain this sort of freshness, this linear feeling, this very you know focused um, expression that champagne can have. Right. Additionally, once it's bottled under cork, there's CO2, of course, because it's a sparkling wine, which is also going to prevent oxygen ingress through the cork. So this, this wine has been stored very protectively in this bottle. Um, and when we open it, it, as well as a, what we might do with a red wine, can benefit from a little bit of oxygen to really let the beautiful aromatics express itself. And one thing I also wanted to mention is this is a vintage champagne. Uh -huh. And often vintage champagnes can take a little bit longer to show themselves. Um, I took the master of wine exam, of course, to, to, to become a master of wine. And sure. what I learned when I was studying for that, and I was blind tasting um, multi-vintage or non-vintage wines next to vintage champagnes is that often you would have to come back to the vintage champagne a little bit later. That multi-vintage would show itself a little bit more mm. expressively right off the bat, but with time, the vintage would start to sort of unveil itself and unravel the flavors and the aromas very beautifully. And so I really like to decant a vintage champagne. I I hope that I chose the right decanter the one that I chose. So I'd love to hear what you think of my choice. But the one you actually chose right there, which I have it in a red wine right here. So again, there's no oh. right or wrong here. I mean, it is an absolutely stunning design. You can see, I mean, it's, like, it's almost like your generic go-to with these beautiful Waterford cuts at the bottom right there. This is called our Lismore Nouveau collection. And really what it is, is that the inspiration for a craft, here's where the history comes in. This is like when you see those, uh, those commercials, here's the science bit, the inspiration for this beautiful design actually comes from an 11th century castle in Ireland. And that design that you're looking at um, in your decanter, my decanter was actually designed in 1952. So that is a 1950 design, completely untouched by time, where, where nothing has changed. The only thing that's really been altered here is that the actual design itself was new, but the design itself is really, really all going back to the early 1950s. Now, let me talk about champagne flutes for just a second. So you have one of these ones right here. So look at that design right there. This is called Lismore Essence, right? This is actually the same cut pattern, Liz Lismore Nouveau. This is Lismore Essence. I mean, look at the elegant style of this, the beautiful flare across the top. This is called a pulled stem. Really what happens is the glass blower manipulates molten crystal, which is falling from basically the molten stage. And then he takes the tools, the eye hand coordination, the skill factor that takes between five and seven years to create this beautiful aesthetic, almost with a thin bottom. And you can see the beautiful clear foot at the bottom. So this, I think what you've chosen right there is the perfect craft. And I think this is the perfect glass. This is Lismore Essence and the craft is Lismore Nouveau. Well, and one tip I wanted to impart also for those of you decanting your champagne is to pour just a small amount first into the decanter and sort of give that a little coating on the inside that will start to foam up a little bit. And then mm -hmm. that way, when you pour the rest of the champagne, it's not going to foam as much. 